Hey, Losi. <laughs> oh, hey. What's yeah. happening? How's it going? Right, cool, yeah, I'm Michael from Ford. Michael. When I opened the sounds, immediately, I, I could feel that there was a mood in this. Like, you're, you're really thinking about the well-being of the driver. No, it's been a new project, a new way of collaborating and thinking. Since you were going electric, you had to kind of live up to that name and the, the brand. Yeah, absolutely. Mustang sound has been such a part of that heritage. We didn't want to just let that go. Having free reign to experiment, a daunting task and super exciting. Having to sit and go, what would this sound like? How, how long did you guys ask yourself that question? Did well, you, did you marinate on it, it for a while? conversations yeah, with the Ford yeah, guys, yeah. With, with Michael and, and the rest of the team there, too, about potentially like existing sounds that are out there or things that have been sound designed in film. and Also real-world elements, yeah, too, that could yeah. then be manipulated to give you that futuristic sound, but it's still based in something organic, something right. real, yeah. you know? Yeah, what is the future like? But also, like, how can we bring some layer of authenticity and experience right. that, you know, makes sense? Interestingly enough, we definitely wanted to avoid creating a sound that sounded like a combustion engine. Yeah, right. That's what cars sound or like a now. Digital version or a digital version of a, yes, version exactly. of a combustion yeah, engine. Exactly. Right. It's got to be cool. It's got to feel good. It's got to sound good. But then it's Mustang. Yeah. There's a population of people that like have this love for the way the car sounds. It's got to. It's got to immediately feel new and familiar at the same time. Exactly. You can do exactly. something fifty ways. Right but there's one perfect way to do it. So you have to kind of do the 49 exactly. before you know yeah. that yeah. that's the one yeah. that I need to do. And that's definitely what we and what you guys did. Like, we went through a lot of different yeah, sounds. How many sounds? <laughs> when, when did you know it was done? Like, I'm sure it was between both of you, you had to mm -hmm. talk about Mike it. Mike told us when the client says it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Keep <laughs> working. We were given a task and, and approached it in a certain way, but then now you've been given a completely different task. I'm remixing a car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see how you can, you know, expand on the ideas that we that we created. Well, I appreciate the trust, and I appreciate you guys, you know, let me do it. Now it's time for me to take everything I learned and see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah. First impressions, they're rich. They're very rich. Um, I really didn't know what to expect. That's sweet. But right away, I love the musicality that I've heard. You know, when I make music, where do you start? Ooh, that's nice and bassy. I knew I wanted to start with the engine hum. I feel like when we were working on these, there was something special about yeah. about that. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You know, that's, remember that's that moment that. you look at each other. Yeah. You look at yeah. each other and you go, "I think this is like this might be yeah. the one." How do you start this song? You know, how do you create a vibe? And there's so many other elements that have nothing to do with the instruments or the players. It's just the combination of all these things that that make up the vibe that gets recorded. Yeah, let it be light. There's no soul like in the machines. Like I'm the soul, you know. But each one of these machines with a different operator does a completely different thing. The human emotion is the key thing that separates this from anything else, you know? So as a musician, I can open it up and I have, you know, what, what would be physically a room full of, you know, synthesizers, effects. And at times that can be pretty daunting. Something that I think we learned, some of the best stuff was based on the limitation. I would say I can relate to constraints a lot in the engineering world because it's, you can make these sounds, but your vehicle is not going to have a, a room full of synthesizers in it. As I learned at the round table, the Mustang Mach-E has three drive modes, which Pulling. kind of gave me some guidance for the lyric writing. Feeling constant propulsion. So that starts with whisper mode. You ride with the whisper. And then it goes to your engage mode, which is kind of your everyday, uh, what you hop in and you're driving. But then there's the unbridled mode, which really steps it up to a new level of experience. And that's where the sound's been tailored uh, to each of those drive experiences. Whisper, engaged, unbridled. Different driving styles, different moods, um, different propulsion, different aggression, or lack thereof, kind of gives me a starting point to framework 
where I'm gonna go with the lyric. I am a new breed, yeah, I am a new breed. Decided to call the song New Breed. Um, you know, the lyric came up right away. You know, Mustang, electric, it's, it's a new thing, it's a new breed. You might arrive with the whisper. We'll find it's time to engage. And it's just, it's like a process, a collaboration. Whether it's a song, whether you're in a band, you're just always looking for their talent to bring something out of you, and hopefully vice versa. And I think I got some of that. I got a lot of that. New Breed is done. Feel good. I figured, uh, who of all people to show it to first than Michael Sonnenberg from Ford? Wait a minute. Oh, he actually drove the Mach-E. Oh, man. This is a nice surprise. Yeah, what do you think, man? <laughs> good to see you. First time seeing it in person. I know, right? <laughs> Dude, everything so far has been in headphones, on laptops, or in my studio. Right. This is the first time I actually get to see where it's all coming from. You want to give it a spin? Are you serious? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Wow. So you ready to hear the song? Yeah, man. Let's take a listen. Awesome. Go for it. Uh, I recognize that. I uh, thought you might. I don't know if anybody's remixed a car before. And this is something that you could never do on your own. You know, you could never do on your own. I could never do on my own. It takes all these players to be given a platform like this, thanks to Ford. And then just creating, like, Art for the sake of art. Might arrive with a whisper. Find it's time to engage. Take off on rivals. Drive off to some other space. 